Bumping Buffalo Bumping Buffalo liked to bump. He had great big horns with a huge pad in the middle, just right for bumping. Buffalo would bump anything and everything. He bumped animals, he bumped trees, and some days he even bumped rocks. When the other buffaloes were happily chewing grass together, Bumping Buffalo was out on his own, looking for things to bump. He bumped Rhino, who was nibbling the tasty leaves of a toothbrush bush. Rhino shouted, Go away! Are you looking for trouble? Buffalo didn't care and just walked off. He bumped Elephant, who was leaning against a pepper bark tree, having a snooze. Elephant shouted, Stop doing that! Are you looking for trouble? Buffalo just laughed. Then he bumped a bamboo tree very hard. Bush Baby was sleeping in the top of the tree. She fell off her branch and came bouncing down through the leaves. One day, all this bumping will get you into trouble. And then, then you'll be sorry, she complained sleepily. Buffalo went off to find other things to bump. It began to rain, and bumping Buffalo took shelter under an umbrella tree, next to a large cave in the rocks. Big zebra and small zebra came by. He was about to bump them when he heard Big Zebra say, You must never go near that cave. There is nothing but trouble in there. When Big Zebra saw Buffalo, she added loudly, Of course, if you are looking for trouble, that is where you'll find it. Buffalo jumped up. He had been looking for trouble for so long. And at last... He found it. He was sure it was going to be fun to bump. Buffalo puffed himself up, shook his huge horns, kicked up clouds of dust with his hooves and charged into the cave, blowing fiercely. It was pitch black in the cave. He slid to a halt and looked around. At first, he couldn't see anything. When he could see a little more, He saw a pair of eyes. He tried to bump them with his horns, but he couldn't. Then he saw another pair of eyes, and another, and another, and he heard a loud growling. Suddenly, Buffalo felt himself being bitten by lots of very sharp teeth. They pinched his hooves, they nipped his ankles, they bit his leg and they chomped on his knees. Then they gnawed at his tail. Then they chewed his nose. And it, it hurt. Bumping Buffalo bumped and bumped, but it was no use. He turned and ran out of the cave, chased by a pack of angry, howling, wild dogs. He ran and he ran, And he ran. Oh, so you found trouble at last, said Rhino as Buffalo panted past the toothbrush bush. The wild dogs chased him and chased him, and he ran even further. Oh, so you found trouble at last, said Elephant as as Buffalo hurtled past the pepper bark tree. When he was quite lost and exhausted, bumping buffalo hid behind a large bamboo tree where the wild dogs could not find him. Then he bumped the tree, just for fun. Stop doing that, yelled Bush Baby, sleepily from the high branches. So the wild dogs saw buffalo and they chased him and chased him all over again. Finally, Buffalo hid himself in a large bush. There he stayed quiet, as quiet as he could, and he didn't bump anything. And the wild dogs? Well, 
They ran past him and they didn't see Buffalo at all as he was so well hidden. Buffalo didn't feel like bumping anymore and he stayed quiet and still in the bush for a very, very long time. Even today, he stands motionless in the bushes and shadows where he knows he can't be seen because he hides so well. And Bumping Buffalo no longer goes looking for trouble. But if Buffalo thinks you are bringing trouble to him, he will come charging out of nowhere. Bumping and bumping anything. The end. Please subscribe to my channel and put your post notifications on. Thank you.